दीनदयाल पोर्ट अथॉरिटी कांडला समुद्र से समृद्धि की ओर कच्छ द लैंड ऑफ कल्चर करेज एंड आंट्रप्रन्योरशिप The artistry and creativity of Kutch has given a special cultural identity to Gujarat. Deen Dayal Port Kandala, located in Kutch region, has strengthened this state and region as a synonym for industrial development in the country and the world. One of the largest ports of the country, Deen Dayal Port Authority Kandala is facilitating import and export connecting the india's hinterland to the whole world through its excellent road rail air and sea transport network and services helping accelerate the development of trade india is making a positive push towards becoming the jagat guru of world economy with our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji's vision of atmanirbhar bharat and make in india the vision of creating more employment opportunities attracting foreign investments and to transform india into a preferred manufacturing hub and investment destination across the globe the ministry of ports shipping and waterways has launched the sagarmala program to promote port land industrialization in a big way the culturally deep rooted and vibrant kachi traders of gujarat are legendary in their trade acumen which has led to the establishment of many trade centers here contributing to this streak of kutch trade deen dayal port authority has been india's number one major port crossing the highest traffic throughput amongst all major ports of the last 15 years consecutively last year despite the covid scare it could achieve traffic of 127.1 mmt the highest among all major ports In order to move further ahead the port has devised a multi-prone strategy to realize the maritime india vision 2030 of the prime minister shri narendra modi Gujarat aaj ek prakar se bharat ke samudri dwar ke roop mein sthapit hua hai Mission of Deen Dayal Port Authority is to be the most economical sustainable modern major port rendering cost effective and efficient services to port users in line with the goals of pm's gati shakti din dayal port is undertaking a slew of projects promoting multimodal connectivity the port has set the goal of seeking harmony between the needs of the cargoes and ships on one hand and the needs of the country on the other presently Deen Dayal Port is having 16 dry cargo berths and one offshore terminal at Tekra for handling multi-purpose cargo traffic. These berths handle varied types of dry cargo together with containers. For handling liquid bulk, there are 6 oil jetties at Kandla and 3 single boy mooring SBM and 2 oil jetties at OOT Varinar. The major competitive advantages of the port are its vast open and covered storage capacity and its strategic location being the nearest port to cater to the hinterlands in north india and central west india in line with building up on its competitive edge deen dayal port has recently expanded the backup area to the tune of 100 hectare and also undertaken development of additional open staking area of around 120 hectares Besides providing road network with appropriate illumination for smooth operations the port has easy access to the middle east and european nations providing an impetus to export and import covering more than 7 states of india additional benefits of the port with its sheltered harbor are its dry tropical conditions that offer smooth and uninterrupted port operations 24 by 7 round the year additionally it has been awarded as the best seafarer sport by the international maritime organization deen dayal port also provides shopping and internet services to anchored crew members the port is also isps compliant and offers round the clock cisf cover in the kandla creek to protest waste and to rage of vessels during waiting and light rage at the outer harbor 
There are also several navigational buoys assisting round-the-clock navigation. With its transparent pricing policy, Deen Dayal Port has one of the lowest cost per ton. Among all ports of India, Deen Dayal Port also has low crude handling charges, low vessel charges, low wharfage and storage charges and low power tariff. Deen Dayal Port is one of the most comprehensive berthing policies in India. Among all its industrialization initiatives, the port has not overlooked its social responsibility. It has a well-planned housing colony with facilities like gymnasium, sports stadium, multi-utility hall and a lush green open ecosystem. The other jewels of the Deen Dayal Port's crown are offshore oil terminal facilities at Wadinar with Indian Oil Corporation, Naira Energy, providing single buoy mooring facilities having a capacity of more than 80 mm TPA, a first of its kind in India. Through Kandla International Container Terminals, another PPP project, the coastal volumes have begun to soar up at Kandla. As on today, all the leading coastal operators, namely Shipping Corporation of India, TCI Seaways and Transworld Group are offering their coastal services at Kandla. The terminal has so far gained 80% of coastal market share and with its logistics and cost advantage, it would remain a preferred terminal for coastal container traffic on the region. Further enhancing the port ecosystem is the Smart Industrial Port City, SIPC, spread over 1,430 acres, out of which 850 acres are earmarked for industrial purposes and 580 acres are earmarked for residential purposes. SIPC is pinnacle in port-led industrialization, which integrates key development features of a smart city with port development. The master plan layout is already up for allotment and supports industrial excellence for diverse industries like edible oil and timber. With proximity to the port, apart from SIPC, the port has also identified land for cluster-based industries like timber, making it an ideal destination for an upcoming furniture park in Kutch region. History was made in Gujarat as Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modiji, virtually inaugurated the prestigious Roro project between Goga, a fishing hamlet, an old port at Hazira, a commercial greenfield port. The voyage is about 60 km long and provides easier access to the city of Surat, comprehensively reducing the 400 km land route. Goga Hazira Ropex Ferry Service was launched to bridge the Gulf of Kambar by providing a sea route to a large number of passengers traveling to and fro between Bhavnagar, located on the western side of the Gulf, and South Gujarat on the east. Undoubtedly, Ropex has emerged as an alternative sustainable transport which incurs lower external cost, lower risk of accidents, saves fuel and reduce CO2 emission. It has recently achieved milestone of more than 2 lakh passengers travel in 2021. With highway and rail network in the vicinity, being a license of power distribution, renewable energy focus, availability of vast stretches of commercial land and waterfront, attractive financial benefits and holistic development opportunities, Deen Dayal Port, the multifaceted port, is offering colossal investment opportunity in terms of public-private partnership in bulk cargo, oil jetties, bunkers and container terminal, the leading global companies as well as the local industries. The Indayal Port is focusing on six major strategic areas, which include cargo and productivity improvement, landlord port development, port-led industrialization, coastal shipping and Roro Ropex expansion, improvement in ease of doing business and green, sustainable and safe port development to achieve its ambitious target of handling 200 million metric tons per annum of cargo by increasing its capacity to more than 300 mm TPA by 2029-30. Recently, Sri Sarbunanda Sonuwal, Honorable Minister of Boats, Shipping and Waterways and Ayush laid the foundation stone for the projects 
ऑयल जेटी नंबर एट एट ओल्ड कंगला डोम शेप स्टोरेज शेड्स पार्किंग प्लाजा फॉर ट्रक्स एंड व्हीकल्स मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ पाइपलाइन नेटवर्क एट ऑयल जेटी एरिया एट कंडला फर्दर फॉर रिड्यूसिंग द वेटिंग टाइम ऑफ लिक्विड कार्गो वेसल्स Construction of oil jetty number seven and eight has been taken up through internal resources, which will enhance the additional capacity of 5.5 mm TPA. Then there is Tona Tekra, a potential area for satellite port development, presently having a PPP dry bulk terminal of 14 mm TPA capacity, with four deep draft berths of 15.5 mm tiers. Din Dayal Port has undertaken development of multi-purpose cargo terminal, capacity of 18.33 mm TPA, as well as container terminal, capacity of 2.19 million TEUs at Tuna Tekra on BOT basis under PPP mode at large scale, consisting projects costing around rupees 6,000 crores. Port has also initiated the processes for mechanization of berth number 14. and development of cargo berth number 13 15 16 and 17 on landlord model basis to handle clean cargo the port has also initiated development of new oil jetties that is OJ9 to 11 at Kandla on PPP mode to add liquid cargo capacity of more than 10.50 mm TPA with cost of close to 1000 crores The port is ready to set a new benchmark in the port sector and it welcomes all the investors to come collaborate and contribute to the development of Atmanirbhar Bharat Dindayal Port Authority Kandla Samudra se samriddhi ki or